Okay, in this short video, we're going to show you how to design a route using the Rounds APM solution. I'm going to go up here to Health, come down to the Rounds Designer. Some prerequisites that you might want to do, um, they're not required, but um, they make uh, route building uh, much easier, is first make sure you have the allowable values that you'd like. So out of the box, we have some of these, just, just kind of simple ones out of the box. These are the, the values for your pick lists. Uh, I've created a broader one um, down here below. Uh, and you also might want to think about some templates. So a template is kind of a pre-designed checkpoint. One's for a fan and a gearbox, etc. And then what you do is you combine those into a template group. So as an example, I have one here for a pump. First question is, is the equipment running? If it's running, then we want to be able to have some conditions. Let me expand that. It says if it's running and you say yes, then we want to do all the checks that are related to running. If you say no, then you won't see any of those running checks. Just makes it a lot cleaner for your inspectors who are out doing the, the data collection because we don't, we don't want to waste their time with questions that they can't do uh, if the equipment's not running. Close that up. So those are some prerequisites that were done ahead of time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a simple route. So I'm going to go over here to routes. Currently I don't have any routes in my system. So I'm going to come up here to the plus sign and go ahead and create a new route. Okay, and for this I'm just going to call it um, area pump route. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just copy that and just paste that into my description. Now normally you'd probably finish your route and get it all designed the way you'd like it before you activate it, uh, but just for example, I'm just gonna go ahead and activate it now. Now there's a field here for route scan ID, and that's if you'd like to set up like a barcode out in the, the area where these pumps are, you could scan maybe a, a barcode you'd put up on a wall, and you could scan your vice, and it would open up the route that is for the, the equipment in that area. Okay, for this I'm not gonna go ahead and put a, I'm not gonna put a scan ID for this one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to the area where my, my route is gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Now I need to add some checks that I want the end user to go out and do in this area. So I'm gonna come up to my plus sign over here and I have some choices. It could be a new measurement, ML stands for measurement location. Could be a new lubricant check or lubricant requirement. Uh, it could be that we've already got some existing measurement locations or lubrication requirements and we just want to add them to this route. Uh, or we want to go ahead and add it based on a template. And that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to go ahead and add it with the templates I showed earlier. So let me go ahead and pick that. It's going to default to the area that's assigned to you. So I'm going to go ahead and just go with the default here because that's the, that's the only site I have in this demo database. All right, the next thing you want to either pick equipment or function location. So you want to apply the template to a specific piece of equipment or location within your site. So I'm going to just type in pump. I've got a lot of pumps in this database. In this case, I'm just going to pick one, but you could pick as many as you'd like. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer when you're applying the template because it's going to have to apply that template to each piece of equipment. So just for time's sake, I'm just going to select this one. I'm going to go next. And now it wants to know, do you want to apply a template, a measurement location template, a lubrication requirement template, or a template group. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and apply a template group. Okay, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to only have a few in here, but if I had a bunch, I could put in a filter up here. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to apply this PM pump template to that piece of equipment. And then I'm going to hit finish. And what it's doing is it's going out to that template and it went ahead and took that template information and it applied it to this specific piece of equipment. So it looks almost the same, except in this case, it's now applied to a specific piece of equipment. And the nice thing about a template is, let's say that we decided that you know the template needs a change. Maybe we need to adjust the allowable value or maybe we need to change the description of the task. Uh, the nice thing is you change it on the template and then you have the capability to apply it to one or all of your templates 
or your routes that are using that template. So it just makes uh, maintenance of your routes much easier as well. So now that you have it built, so now we have these checks that we're going to go out and do for this pump. Next thing we need to do is decide how we want to schedule it. So we can schedule either at the route level. So if I click up here on the route name, you'll see I don't have a schedule. So if all my checks are at the same interval, and I just want to just have it run once a week or once a month or every shift, a lot of times our customers will go ahead and do route scheduling. However, if you want to be able to have a specific schedule on each check, then we also allow you to have schedule checkpoints. The nice thing about scheduling checkpoints, specific checkpoints, is we can also include compliance data, schedule compliance. So let's say that was something that needs to be done once a week. If you don't do it that week, it's, it's going to keep track of your readings or your checkpoints that did not have a, a reading, uh, just so you can evaluate um, if you're out of compliance against your schedule. So a lot of advantages to using checkpoint scheduling. So to make that a little bit easier, and that's what I'm going to do on this particular route, I'm going to go back up here to route, and I'm not going to use route scheduling. However, I am going to make all the checkpoints the same schedule. And I'm going to do that with this feature here. This is a new feature in our 4303 version. I'm going to go down and say reset checkpoint schedules. Okay, and it comes up with a scheduling box and I'm going to go ahead and pick maybe last Monday just as an example. And I'm going to say I do this once a week. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And it says you want to do it to ones that already have a schedule or all. And I'm going to go ahead and do it on all. And what that does is if I go look at my checkpoint, it says that the next due date, and it looks for the next one coming up. I believe I did it on a Sunday. So it says it's due the next time it would be due on the 17th. And if I don't do it between the 17th and the 24th, then it's going to be out of compliance. Okay, so it basically gives me a week to get that done. To make this a little easier, let's say I wanted to go ahead and run this today, because maybe today is not the 17th, but I want to go ahead and run it and go back to my route. And I'm going to go and change all the next dates to, in this case, I'm just going to do it like yesterday, just so I can show you how they show up. This is not something that you would typically do, although if you did want to run a route early, uh, you could use that feature. Uh, that was a feature we added in 4302, I believe. So now this route is good. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So that's just one piece of equipment. We could add lots of equipment and lots of different types of checks, but just for this simple uh, demonstration, I just have one. I'm going to close this, and there's my route. So the next step is to make sure that you assign it to someone. If there's no assignments, it's never going to show up for anybody to go run. So in this case, I'm, I'm logged in as, um, as the administrator. Okay, right now there's nobody assigned. Now in this little simple database, I only have a couple of users. So I'm going to go ahead and assign it to both of these people. I'm going to assign it to the administrator. and I'm going to assign it to John Smith, who happens to be a person who goes out and runs routes. Okay, I'm going to hit this little arrow and close this dialog. You can see now it's assigned to two people. And that's it. Your router is ready to go. So now what would happen is an end user would come in. They would come over to rounds data collection. And the route is ready to go. So I'm not going to get into rounds data collection in this video. I'm going to do a separate video for that. Just to recap. So in rounds designer, you get to rounds designer from health. Rounds designer. You can come over here. You can create new routes or you can edit existing routes just by simply clicking on its name. Or its ID. You open up the route. To add additional checkpoints or measurements to this route, you just come up to the plus sign. You can add them kind of ad hoc one at a time, brand new ones. From scratch, you can add an existing one that might already exist, or you can apply a template uh, like I showed in the, the example.